In this video, we'll balance the equation for C plus O2 yields CO2. Carbon plus oxygen gas gives us carbon dioxide. This is a simple equation, but there's a few things we can learn from it. First of all, if we have just one element, there's nothing written after it, we assume there to be a subscript of one. So we have one carbon atom. Here the subscript is two, so we have two oxygen atoms. Over here in the product side of the equation, we have the one after the carbon, nothing written, we assume it to be one, and then we have two oxygen atoms. When we balance equations, we're trying to get everything to be the same on each side. So here we have one carbon, and here we have one carbon. Here we have two oxygens, and here we have two oxygens. So if these are the same, we say the equation is balanced. If we wanted to write the coefficients, just like with the C, we had a one after if it's not written, the coefficient, that's the number in front, would be a 1 as well. So sometimes people will say the coefficients are 1, 1, 1 for an equation like this. But we usually don't write them there. They're assumed to be there, just like this one here is assumed to be there if we don't write it. One final thing to think about. When we have a chemical reaction, these two substances are combining to form this substance here. So the carbon and the oxygen, they come together and they form carbon dioxide. When we're done, we only have carbon dioxide here. These two things came together, and now they're all in the carbon dioxide. That makes us a chemical change. We have two things coming together, and we have a new substance. In fact, this is called a combination reaction. This is Dr. B. The balanced equation for C plus O2 yields CO2. Thanks for watching.